Bradley's forecast. Welcome back. All right, the Easter weekend is upon us and uh, definitely was a warm and muggy one out there today. It got up to 84 degrees this afternoon and laugh yet. A lot of clouds out there this morning and then out of some intervals of sunshine through the course of the afternoon. We do have a little bit of a disturbance that's uh, tracking off to our north and the bulk of that energy is actually going to continue to remain off to our east as we head into this evening, but a good amount of shower and storm activity uh, approaching the beach areas of Mississippi, Alabama and Florida. And we have seen a couple blips on the radar here locally through the course of the afternoon. One little lone shower out there in and around uh, St. Martinville here in Upper St. Martin Parish gradually moving off to the east, but that's about it. So we're going to hold rain chances at around 10 to 20% through this evening. Otherwise, it's going to be mild and muggy out there as temperatures only drop into the lower 70s for that overnight low. So that's where we'll start our Easter Sunday. A lot of cloud cover out there as we start today, but then similar to today, we should start to see some intervals of sunshine through the course of the afternoon, and that'll help push our temperatures into the mid 80s. So Similar temperatures out there for our Easter uh, Sunday as today. Now we may see another isolated shower or two through the course of the afternoon with the heating of the day, but I think most of us are actually going to stay dry out there uh, for our Easter. Now here comes a frontal boundary. It's going to start to approach the area tomorrow evening, so that'll raise rain chances up just a bit to around 40%. There is a low end threat that we could see an isolated severe storm capable of producing uh, strong winds, maybe some hail, especially for areas along and north of the I-10 corridor again going into late tomorrow evening. But then behind that front, we're going to be turning cooler and noticeably less humid as we head into Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. Uh, back to mostly sunny skies Monday afternoon as temperatures will look the to top out a little bit cooler, not the mid 80s, but instead mid to upper 70s. And that's the way it's going to go into our Tuesday. Winds pretty light out there tonight. May see some patchy fog in spots first thing tomorrow morning, but not overly widespread. But uh, just keep that in mind, and then the winds will look to pick up mid morning and into the afternoon tomorrow. Sustain at around, uh, we'll say, uh, 8 to 14 miles per hour gust at times, even a little bit higher than that. But again, certainly going to be warm and muggy out there for our Easter Sunday. Again, we'll start out lower 70s, and then just like today, look to top it out mid 80s tomorrow afternoon under partly to mostly cloudy skies. And then here here comes that cold front into tomorrow night. We'll be starting out Monday morning, a little bit cooler in the 60s, and then again, mostly sunny skies into our Monday afternoon as temperatures will top out in the middle to upper 70s. So mostly cloudy out there tonight, maybe a stray shower, isolated shower this evening at around 10 to 20%, but most of us looking to stay dry. 72 or so for the overnight low, a little bit of a light sudly breeze out there. And then tomorrow, happy, happy Easter to everybody. Mostly cloudy and warm, especially through the morning. Uh, staying warm into the afternoon, but again, we'll start to see some intervals of sunshine. Rain chances at around 20 to 25 percent, but most of us will look to stay dry. 84 for that projected high, and again, we will see a southerly breeze at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Here comes that cold front tomorrow night, so again, cooler, noticeably less humid Monday into Tuesday, mid to upper 70s for those high temperatures, but then we will be back into the 80s as we head into the middle and latter parts of the week. That's the way it's going to go into the upcoming weekend as well, but overall, rain chances not too terribly high. Very very isolated in nature over at least the next uh, seven days or so. But um, again, we are looking at a warm and humid Easter tomorrow for any of your outdoor plans. But the good news is, uh, Scott, is that most of us will stay dry for all those festivities. That is the good news. Good news Thank you, Mr. Benoit.